This Acura Integra Type R recently sold for $112,000, which is nearly five times more than the original 1997 sticker price. This is following a growing trend of appreciating JDM cars, which means JDM icons like the Integra have been shooting through the roof in price lately. And it's not hard to see why the prices have gone ballistic recently. JDM or Japanese domestic market vehicles are often praised for being extremely reliable while also being just as fun or interesting as their German or American counterparts. The 1990s saw a massive boom in JDM sports cars and due to the relative freedom and excitement of car manufacturers back then, the cars produced during those years are often seen as being better than brand new cars made today. So, in this video, we're going to cover five of the most underrated JDM sports cars made throughout this period which have not yet seen a drastic price increase, but likely soon will. Also make sure you stay until the end of the video because the last car is nearly guaranteed to shoot up in price soon. Number 5, 4th Generation Honda Prelude VTEC. The 4th Generation Honda Prelude was introduced in 1991. Offered with a range of trims and inline 4 engines, the best of which was the VTEC trim which featured a 2.2 liter inline 4 cylinder with dual overhead cams. This engine, called the H22A1, produced 187 horsepower and 153 pound-feet of torque. It sat on the front axle of the Prelude and could be mated to a 5-speed manual or a 4-speed automatic, which sent power to the front wheels. This front engine, front wheel drive layout, which was a characteristic of most Hondas at the time, means that the 2,800 pound curb weight is distributed with 58% up front and 42% at the rear. Number 4, 4th generation Subaru Legacy 2.5 GT Spec B. The 4th generation Subaru Legacy was introduced in 2003. There were a variety of models on offer, the best of which being the 2.5 GT Spec B, which arrived in 2006. Though the Legacy is normally offered as a sedan or a wagon configuration, the 2.5 GT Spec B was only offered in a sedan, which hints to the sporting nature. This version of the Legacy had a turbocharged 2.5 liter flat 4 boxer engine called the EJ255. This engine cranked out 250 horsepower and 243 pound-feet of torque, which was then sent through a 6 speed manual transmission to all four wheels. In addition to a more powerful engine, the Spec B received upgraded Bilstein shock absorbers as well as 18 inch alloy wheels which both improve handling in order to carry the 3,400 pound chassis. Number 3, First Generation Acura TSX. The first generation of the Acura TSX was unveiled in 2003 and it derived from the JDM Honda Accor 2.4 Type S. The TSX was meant to replace Acura's entry-level sedan, the Integra, which had been discontinued in 2001. This sports sedan featured a 2.4 liter inline 4 cylinder which made 200 to 205 horsepower depending on model year and 164 pound feet of torque. This engine was the highly revered K24A2 with dual overhead cams and VTEC. This sat on the front axle sending power to the front wheels through either a 6 speed manual or a 5 speed automatic. Number 2, 3rd generation Toyota MR2, Spider. The third and final generation of the Toyota MR2 began production in 1999. This version of the popular mid-engine rear-wheel drive platform was called the MR2 Spider in North America and the MR2 Roadster in Europe. This naming was to mark the change from a coupe style of the previous cars to a convertible only style for this generation. As with all MR2s, the engine sat in the middle rear of the car to provide extraordinary balance and superior handling. The engine in this car was the 1.8 liter 1ZZ FED inline 4 cylinder which produced 138 horsepower and 126 pound feet of torque. That power was sent through a 5 or 6 speed manual to the rear wheels. Note that there was no automatic transmission available on the MR2 Spider. The only alternative to the manual was a sequential manual. Even though this car was a convertible which often weigh more than their coupe counterparts, this was the lightest MR2 yet and it weighed just 2,200 pounds. It's amazing that these cars are still underrated because it's said to be the best handling MR2 ever made, which is no small feat. And speaking of MR2s, the honorable mention for this list is the first generation MR2. This version is less underrated, likely because of the looks and the fact that it came as a coupe. The prices of these cars are starting to tick over 30 grand, but they're still surprisingly underrated, which means they likely have a ways to go. Number 1, first generation Mazda RX-7. The first generation of the Mazda RX-7 was manufactured from 1978 to 1983. 
The top trim was called the GSL SE and it came with 135 horsepower and 133 pound-feet of torque from a turbocharged 1.3 liter two rotor called the 13B. The compact nature of the Wankel rotor engine meant that the RX-7 tipped the scales at just 2,400 pounds. The GSL SE sent power from up front through a 5-speed manual transmission to a limited slip differential in the rear. This makes the RX-7 a front-engine, rear-wheel drive layout which is the most desirable style for car enthusiasts. Couple that with its timeless looks and the RX-7 may become one of the most sought-after JDM cars. Nearly half a million of these cars were built back in its day, however as time takes its toll on all of them, the well-maintained ones will continue to rise in price. If you liked any of these cars then it might be worth it to scoop one up soon. You don't want to wait a few years and then have it end up like the Acura Integra from the beginning of the video, which will likely continue to go up in price. Go check out this video to see some more of the best JDM cars that you can still get for under $10,000. That video includes some similar cars that you'll probably really enjoy if you like the cars on this list.